Do you use our card forms and would like your users to finish their forms later? Let me show you how to set up the continue forms later feature. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. I'm Kimberly. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a form that is a card form. So I'm going to start from scratch. We're gonna utilize the card form. And for this to take effect, you have to have more than four questions. So we need to make sure to drag in at least five card form elements. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose their name, email, address, phone number, and let's say a short text box. Perfect, so we have more than that form minimum. So let's go up to the top, up to settings, and we're already in form settings, that's exactly where we need to be. We're gonna choose the show more options button. And then we're gonna scroll down to continue forms later, right here. So let's go ahead and click it. We can see it's automatically on disabled, but we can either have it enabled no matter how many questions over that four limit, or we can have it enabled when the form has more than 10 questions. Because mine has five, we need to go ahead and choose the enabled feature. And we can also customize the email that they would receive. Let's take a peek at that. All right, so we have the subject line of continue filling out this form later. We have the form title. Perfect, we have the continue form button. So let's take a peek and let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to publish and then open in a new tab. All right, we can see that there's five questions. I'm gonna go ahead and click start and you're not going to see a progress bar or a complete later until you fill out this first question. Okay, let's hit next. And now you can see we have the progress bar down at the bottom and we also have this little save function, the little floppy disk. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this out later. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue and save later. Good deal, and we can see that JotForm has already sent that email to us, but we can also grab a shareable link. So let's say maybe we want to send it to ourselves in Messenger or text. We can do it that way instead of going through email, uh, but we are good to go here. Let's jump over to my email and let's see what that email looks like. All right, and here it is. You have a saved draft for the form. Let's continue the form, start, and we can see that it automatically puts me on the second question where I left off. If we click on this first dot, we can see the one field that I filled out. So if you have any questions about using this continue later option for our card forms, please let us know and I'll see you next time.